G'day kids, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. Until then, enjoy this one. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So today we are in for a real treat because we're gonna learn all about Aboriginal artwork, one of the oldest artworks in the whole of the world. And to take us through this amazing artwork, we're joined by Billy Reynolds. G'day Billy. How you going Ozzy? Mate, I'm great. Thank you so much for having me here. Thank you. In your studio, which is also your house. Yep. Mate, it's a pleasure to be here. So where did it all start for you? How long have you been painting Aboriginal artwork? I've been painting Aboriginal artwork for about five years now. Wow, yeah. five years? Yeah. And I'm just looking around the room, some of the things I'm seeing don't seem like you've been doing it for only five years. You've obviously got a natural talent there. Thank you. So how did you actually get into it? So me and my family actually went on a family holiday over to Uluru about five years ago. And uh, going there, we really connected with our, or my, Indigenous heritage and seeing all the artworks that were made there. Coming back to Sydney, uh, I just put pen to paper and started my own artwork and it really blew up from there. Wow. Yeah. So you felt some kind of connection to your heritage going Definitely. back to such a, a symbolic place like Uluru. Definitely. And then something within you sparked and you said, you know what, I'm going to go back learn a little bit more about this amazing artwork and start creating myself. Yep, definitely. That's, That's really, exactly. really cool. That's awesome. So what did you do to start? Did you literally just get a, a piece of paper and some paint or a canvas and just start? Did you do some research? How did, it, how did it happen? So I basically taught myself. I just went up to the art store, bought a canvas, bought some paint, and then just started myself. Wow. And then, yeah, just happened like that. That's really cool. So you don't happen to have the very first artwork here, do you? Of course I do. You do? Yeah. So this is my first artwork. What? Yeah. So you went from never doing Aboriginal art to that? Yeah, straight away. Wow. Yeah, that wow, one wow, was wow. a very popular one. That one's called Four Tribes. Uh, I called it that because it's uh, separated into four different uh, sections. Right. With a meeting circle in the middle and two kangaroos at the bottom and two rainbow serpents at the top. Yeah, wow. That's incredible. So for someone that's never done Aboriginal art, was that challenging? Uh, for me, it wasn't so much challenging. I just felt some sort of connection to it and right. I felt like this was me, I'm meant to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah, just really felt connected to it and felt easy for me. That's amazing. So how did you know you know, how did you know what symbols to draw? How did you know what they mean? You mentioned a, a meeting circle. How did you know all that stuff? So obviously through my own research, yeah. going away to Uluru, um, and my school indigenous program really helped. Right. Being AIM, they helped me a lot. Um, my teachers, my indigenous teacher at school, uh, she helped me a lot to learn more about our culture and really like, uh, how would you say, just submerge us into our culture. Amazing. So Billy, you mentioned AIM. What does that stand for and what do they do? AIM stands for Australian Indigenous Mentoring Experience. Okay. So they're, uh, how would you say, like a school mentoring program for all Indigenous kids. Yeah, they really help us uh, sort of connect to our culture, become better people, uh, better ourselves. Yeah, Amazing. They're, they're, they're really good. That's fantastic. Now, can I ask Billy, how old are you? I'm 18 years old. 18? Yeah. So you're just out of school? Yep. Now, are you, is this your full-time gig? Are you a full-time artist now? No, I'm not full-time. It's sort of like a hobby, part-time on the side, but my full-time job is landscaping. Wow. Yeah. So you landscape during the day and you find time to sit yep. and do this stuff at night and on the weekends. Yep. You've obviously got a natural talent, which over the years is, is obviously improving. I'm looking around the room and there's some incredible pieces. But if I could just come over here. Yep. You got some jerseys here. Yeah. You, did you actually design these jerseys that the NRL players wear yep. in the games? 
Yeah. That would have been quite a rush. Yeah, it was. It was an amazing experience to see them run out with the jerseys on. I was, I was absolutely blown away. That's very, very cool. So how did this come about? So I entered a competition for that, which was held across Australia and I got first place and the West Tigers contacted me themselves and said, listen, Billy, we want your artwork on our indigenous jersey and things just fell into place from there. That's amazing. Kids, how good's that? Billy's taken up a new form of artwork. He's connected with his culture. He's entered a competition. Before you know it, he's got his artwork worn by the West Tigers in the NRL running around on the weekends on TV. That's pretty good. I'm pretty lucky standing next to you, I'll tell you what. Now, can you talk me through some of the, um, the bits and pieces on here? I know that Aboriginal artwork is full of symbology, but maybe we can just talk about what the different pieces mean on this jersey. Okay, so the artwork behind this was called Gooing in Yunada, which means sun and moon in uh, Darawal language. Okay. Uh, so this would be the sun, this will be the moon. These are all our uh, star symbols. Okay. And throughout it, we have uh, kangaroo tracks. Are there. they kangaroo tracks? Yep, kangaroo tracks. And we have emu tracks going through it as well. That's incredible. Okay kids, now this is going to be very, very special. I'm very excited because Billy is actually gonna create a custom piece of artwork with Aussie right now. Yep. So when you're starting an artwork, a blank ca canvas, it looks pretty daunting. Yeah. What do you do? How do you start? Normally, if I have a client, uh, they'll have some sort of an idea of what they want. Right. And today, you're my client. Hey. So uh, I'm gonna ask you some questions yep. first off. Uh, do you have a favourite animal? I have lots of favourite animals, yeah. but um, I do like snakes. You do like snakes? I like snakes. All right, perfect. So we could start off with a snake. Um, so normally, just go ahead, start off with pencil, and then f further along, we'll make it a bit more, a bit darker, maybe go over with some textures or things like that. Okay. A big thing in Aboriginal culture is the rainbow serpent, which is, uh, I guess you could say, sort of like a being from the dream time, which is, which the rainbow serpent, we believe, um, created all that is today. Right. So, this snake will be coming out at night time. Ah. So, might as well put a moon and some stars in here. Perfect. To go with it. Okay. So we'll grab a paintbrush. I normally grab a paintbrush, but use the wrong end. Right. It. So that's how you get the dots. Yeah. That's so cool. Every um, paintbrush has a different size of the back of it. Right. So start off with the moon. Moon is just, we'll just have a big dot there, big dot in the middle. Okay. You get a bit of paint, and then each one you gotta do it. Go dot, paint, dot, paint. Wow, so that's why it takes so long. Yeah, and then sometimes if you get enough, you can do two. Yeah, okay. So for, for the next one, for the next like round, I'll get you, if you can. Yeah, let me have a turn. Yeah, keep hey, going this around is with exciting. That. With, yeah, the we'll big one. Back of, yeah, we'll go the big one and then we'll go small one. Big one, small one. Okay. And we'll do that for the moon. And while you're doing the moon, I'll go and do some stars around uh, the rainbow serpent. Okay. This is cool. So Billy, can anyone do and create Aboriginal art? For kids, definitely. I, I definitely encourage them to do their, um, do Aboriginal art because it is such a big part of our culture and just, I, I really encourage people to embrace it most definitely. That's great. Yeah. This is the first time I've ever tried Aboriginal art and I have to say I'm, I'm pretty privileged and honoured to be doing it next to you, mate. Thank you.
So Billy, yep. just while we're creating some art here, I've seen some of your pieces and they are very impressive. You've designed a couple of jerseys already. Yep. You're moving very quickly on the art scene. Yeah. What's next for you and what does the future hold? Because it, it appears that it's pretty exciting for you. Yeah, so I guess sort of my goals with art would obviously to be keep on doing them for a very long time. I want to do more art um, for companies. I love doing it for companies. Yeah. Uh, getting my name out there is a big one. I definitely want to do that and become a bit more successful. Get, yeah, definitely getting my name out there. Um, I've started my own Instagram page actually, where I post a few of my artworks. Cool. And uh, people get in contact with me through there. And what's that? Uh, cool. So that would be my name, Billy Reynolds, and then art at the end. So Billy Reynolds art. Perfect. So people get in contact with me through there. So yeah, I definitely want to do more artworks for companies. Yeah. I want to do more artworks for people at home. Uh, I'm doing, um, well, I'm about to start another new one for um, a client. She wants one in her house. Um, yeah, definitely just keep on going, get things bigger and bigger. certainly coming along. Thank you. Probably needs a little yeah. bit more work and I'm gonna leave that to you. Yep, you're the sweet. professional, but thank you so much for including me on this artwork. All good. Thank you so much for letting me come along to your house, your studio, teaching me all about Aboriginal artwork. Thank you for coming. I think you've inspired me to, to learn a bit more about it. Hopefully you've inspired the kids to learn a bit more and, and maybe even try some themselves. Yep. Kids, I hope you've loved today. It's been an absolute honor to be here. We'll see you in the next video and until then, Stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through. I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right. Stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 Aussie,